So if you do something again, if it's something like this iron, find a rectangular shape for it, give it the thickness to it, try to estimate the length and the width, you can find the center, helps you plot it, and then this kind of has this arch to it like so, and it's tapered back, wraps that around. So the 3D modeling helps because it gives you a little bit of a little bit of help. This is curved in the back. And then the center part that holds the brackets for the iron. If you start everything off as a rectangular shape straight, it's much easier to do the organic part of it. So that's pretty easy for the iron, and then just go back in and pick out the delineated section. Start looking for the sh shading to it. Okay, and same idea. You find those edges and kind of blend them in one direction. Dark to light has the part where it's been molded, and the cylinders all have this kind of a surrounded light around it for it.